back to the Audi. Um, 1.8 turbo, 2006 A4. This is actually a S line convertible. Um, had a um, EPS, ABS, and brake light on on the dashboard. They wouldn't go away. So I went on, um, looked up um, multiple uh, sites, and uh, users were. were um, uh, owners were um, saying that uh, to replace well this module ABS module probably needs to be fixed so I sent it in for repair it came back um, I asked the shop if it needs to be programmed they said no um, and popped it back in and try resetting the battery nothing works I mean I'm plugging the battery just to reset everything but still I had the lights on on the dashboard and so I knew this wasn't a problem although they said they fixed something in it um, not sure what or they fixed or if they fixed anything but besides the point uh, I sent it to um, master module in Idaho I believe this should be pretty good uh, but they gave me a warranty so on this if, it's, if it ever breaks um, I didn't fix the issue, unfortunately. So, and um, well, I found out that there's initially I bought I have a VCDS scanner, VCDS um, to do the diagnostics, and those, the module wouldn't communicate at all. And when they came back from the uh, repair, it still wouldn't communicate uh, the ABS module that is. And I didn't get any codes. It just said no communication with the ABS module. Um, there were no codes on the engine, anything else, uh, just no communication. So um, picked up a, a wiring schematics, and there's three wires actually that goes from the main ABS module to to different components. Uh, steering column. There's two of them, two orange wires, I believe. But um, I did own, and there's one that's green with red stripe, and that one goes to the ODB2 and plug, and then it splits off to the gauge. And I did, at some point, I did have um, once in a while the uh, speedometer wouldn't work, uh, but just not every time, but it, it would it wouldn't work uh, once in a while, um, and so. I found out I put um, ohm meter, regular ohm meter, um, get one of these testers uh, between the, the on the green K line. It is this is communication line, so I put it on. I believe it's number twelve where it goes to all the way to the um, ODB2 and then so I, there was no resistance so what I did is I ran out so I figured you know this has to be something wrong with it so I put a temporary line the cable uh, from here to the ODB2 and they plugged it in the uh, VCDS and then I noticed that the module was communicating so then after I ran a permanent wire um, I didn't want to rewrite everything because it would take forever. So I did. I did another wire from from this point to the ODB, and then and then everything started to work. But for some reason, I had to. For some reason, I had to reprogram my module, and I don't know why. Uh, but um, maybe the shop where I send the module to. They reset it something, I'm not sure, but uh, VCDS, um, there's instructions on, uh, on their website, on wiki, uh, and then you just get your code and then follow the instructions. And I would suggest to follow it, uh, if this is the issue and you need to reprogram and do you have, if you have a CD, uh, VCDS Rostec scanner, then you can reprogram it yourself. 
and what are, you have to go to their wiki and select your car and then it's going to give you all the codes and then you have to enter the codes and follow the instructions uh, i did follow instructions online on their um uh, youtube uh, video but they they those weren't too accurate uh it, it asks you to um with the engine off to turn the wheel off to the left and the right but which this wasn't this was incorrect it was a generic video so follow so i followed the wiki um uh, on their website um, and, and here's here's how the vcds rostec looks this is the odb2 plug and basically it goes into your computer and you download the website uh, the um the software which allows you for three cars i believe for the advanced features and any car uh, um, i mean any volkswagen or audi unlimited you can scan unlimited cars except if it takes up a license and minus up to three licenses but you can go on the website and check which whatever one works for you so but i bought the one with the three car license so follow the wiki if you need any anything from the raw stack and and then after uh programming i had to drive the car a little bit uh it was in the um test test mode i believe or something like that and i had to drive it for and make some turns and then finally the all the lights went away so but again so that green line is, as you see over there there's another green line that i, I um, hooked up so that's the one that cable on uh, it's, it's the k line on top right here on um, somewhere top to the right a little bit uh, and it's green and has a red stripe so that's how i fixed this issue uh, but yes a lot of times people have the uh, abs issues um the um, the module itself it goes bad or it gets flooded or something else but yeah this is how i fix mine